Hey everyone, Sasha here, and I'm making this video about delete user in Flutterflow. Um, so I had this issue where I was following this documentation on delete user uh, that states that first you have to log out the user and then you have to delete user uh, inside the actions uh, on the button delete account. So I've done that and it did not work for me. Uh, in this case, um, I had the issue that kind of, uh, I guess, token expired. So user would have to sign in back in and then try to do the deletion again. It never worked. Uh, so then I was looking for a solution. Also tried to reverse these two. And um, it just nothing, nothing like that worked. And then in the end, what actually worked for me was on the delete account, I first had to do the backend call, delete the document, and uh, select reference delete user record reference. So this is, if you can see here, you go under authenticated user and then user reference. Um, and after that, I added the delete user, and then after that, the logout authentication. And that kind of redirected me where I wanted to go. And this was the solution that actually made it work. And as you can see here in, in the app, um, which is still getting loaded. So let's try it out here. So Adding passwords, create account. Okay, account created. We have it here. Click delete account. It's asking me if I'm sure. Yes, delete account. And bam. And if I go and log in, It should not work. And yes, there is no user corresponding. So that's it. Um, just to state here, in this one, at the beginning, there's a just alert uh, dialog, confirm dialog. And this is just to ask, as you saw, are you sure? And you have the actions already here. And then uh, based on that, you can add this terminate action well, uh, and if true, if you really want to leave, you can add this. I'm just saying because it wasn't in the original documentation. So you guys can add this to your apps. Thanks.